Really, but things are going to start heating up and our temperatures too getting a little hot tomorrow. Real summer feel with the humidity and the storm chance. For now though, this afternoon, a great Monday ahead with us with the cloud cover starting to break up a little bit. We're seeing some bursts of sunshine in between the clouds still hanging tough over Boston. But throughout the day, temperatures will eventually be in the 70s and we're going to keep the humidity low. All the heat and humidity to our south and west and we had a nearly stationary boundary to our southwest all weekend long. And that will bring in our next chance for storms for tomorrow. In the meantime, we have the clouds and mix of clouds and sunshine here in Boston, but starting to see some completely clear skies across northern Worcester County. That trend from northwest to southeast will continue as we see some clearing, although Cape Cod Islands, you may have more clouds throughout the day than, say, in Lawrence or in Boston. 62 degrees right now, holding at 65 in Norwood, 63 Taunton, and 58 degrees in Worcester. High temperatures today, as long as we see that sunshine and we still have that south wind, will be in the low 70s here. A little bit warmer inland and cooler along the south coast Cape and Islands thanks to that south wind. Perhaps a couple sea breezes developing locally too, right along the immediate east coastline. Overnight tonight, down to 58 degrees, increasing clouds and once again that patchy fog. Tomorrow, you'll notice it does become humid and temperatures will be in the low to mid 80s. 82 Boston, 78 in Plymouth though, a little bit cooler across the Cape and Islands, more comfortable there on Nantucket with 60 degrees. But here in the timing, 7 a.m. Tuesday, starting off mostly cloudy, breaks of sunshine in the afternoon. That is a bad thing because that could lead to more instability ahead of the storm system, this cold frontal boundary, and we have enough lift and we have enough of a trigger that we may see strong to isolated severe storms along this line. Damaging wind would be the primary threat as the line pushes through Boston between 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock, moving across southeastern Massachusetts between 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock, and then all offshore, we quiet things down for midweek after that. Those impacts here, damaging wind, lightning, as well as heavy rain, maybe the potential for some small hail. And we're checking out the tropics here. This is something we're watching, a wave, a 40% chance off the coast of Florida that could give us some tropical formation in the next five days. Now, the thing about this is regardless this is going to produce some very heavy rain across Florida the next week. It could also transport into our area, giving us our own chance for tropical downpours going into the weekend. That's something we're still trying to iron out, so stay tuned throughout the week. But just be on guard Tuesday. That's the day that we could see some strong storms. Back to you, Chris.